Sorry about that, guys. This was getting a little long, and there's quite a bit of product left in this little box that I wanted to talk about. So, this product was one of the items I got in my Walmart beauty boxes, I want to say last summer, something like that. Um, and I've been using it, and I finally killed it this time. It smells really good. This guy... Um, I actually brought it with me on vacation, and I ended up killing it when we got back. This is Real Fruit Goodness NSPA by Nirvana Spa. Exotically creamy coconut rich body butter with natural vitamins for your skin. One of our products are so fruity and juicy, you may be tempted to eat them. Well, don't. They are not food. Um, no, they're not food, but they smell like food. It's really thick and amazing, and this was a really great sample size. Look at the size of this. For that Walmart box, like I said, it's seasonal. You get four a year for five bucks each. Um, this is what I'm talking about, is this kind of stuff. The last few boxes have been pretty good. I have to say I've been pretty impressed with them. And um, this product was definitely something I would purchase in the future. It has a beautiful, great scent. It's super thick, perfect for summer, perfect scent for summer, and I mean... That alone was worth the whole box right here. This was really good. But I finally used it up because it's been lingering. And I'm happy. Next item I've used up is this. I don't even know where this came from. This is a Skin So Soft Original Replenishing Body Lotion. There's something about the smell of Skin So Soft. Can't really describe it. It's... I feel like growing up... Everybody's mother had skin so soft, like the oils and stuff like that. So it's very... Nostalgic? I don't know if that's the word. This stuff was really runny, I noticed, but it did, um... It was a great lotion. It's not a bad lotion. I don't mind the smell, but after a while it can make me sick, so this isn't something that I would pick up all the time. But it wasn't bad, and I finally killed this little bad boy. I have no idea where it came from. It looks like it's been around for a while. Next. Maybe I'll use, save that for the end. Um, okay, this is just right on top. It's taking me years to kill this. And honestly, I dropped some of it, so I didn't get to use all of it. Bit of a letdown, but you know, it happens. This was my Physician's Formula shimmer stripes custom bronzer blush and eyeshadow in vegas strip this is the light bronzer i've had this for quite some i can't even tell you how long i have it they still sell this though um but i finally killed it like a little bit of it i ended up dropping unfortunately but i did use the majority of it i was gonna end up project panning this soon anyway but um i used it up and i really do this was a great eyeshadow as a base i mean i have tons of um gold and stuff now so i don't know if i'll be buying this within the near future would i buy it again absolutely it has a great color payoff it's a reasonable price you can use it as a bronzer for blush and for an eyeshadow actually you can use a highlight um woo! did i drop it but um this was a really great product really reasonably priced and i've had it forever i've used it almost on the daily for a few years now I, this was the one i was using mostly for work um because it was just a great base color that you can build up around it. And I like having um, golds and stuff like that to do that with. Because I think they make a great base. And that was awesome. Next that I killed, and I have a backup. I'll be using that shortly. This was from Victoria's Secrets. They don't make it anymore. It was limited edition. I don't even think they make um, actual makeup anymore. I think they just have the lip um, glosses now. And this was in the color Gilded. And this was the... Metallic eyes, metallized. I can't even pronounce it. It's a metallic uh, liquid liner in gilded gold. This stuff was amazing. I love it. I don't know if I got a little bit left here to show you. This stuff is incredible. But this one is dead. Like, it's, it's not that line isn't the best line coming off of it. But it's, like, when it's brand new, it's amazing. And it does stay on pretty good. Um, but this guy is finally dead, and I have a second one to use. Um, I love this liner. It's a shame it was limited edition. When Victoria's Secret actually made makeup, it was great. I really, the glosses, I'm not a gloss girl. I typically go for lipsticks. 
Um, I got a bunch of glosses I either need to give away or use. I'm like working on project painting, that kind of thing right now. But I love that eyeliner. It's great. Next, I used up this Avon Little Sample in Country Rose. This is just a nice color, just a regular, like, a rosy color, like, better than your lips kind of thing. Um, it's pretty dead. Let's see, it's just a really nice, light color. Um, really has no season. It's a really nice color. It's very smooth. These do not have lasting power, I'm not going to lie to you. But it's not bad. You know, Avon makes fairly decent stuff. Next is this coconut sandalwood for my wallflower. This thing smells really good. It's got a really nice, it's not really a musk. It's, you got the coconut, then you got the sandalwood undertone underneath, and it's just really delicious. I am not sure if you can still get this right now because they are switching to fall scents right now. But if you find it, like, on clearance, or I know they're doing semi-annual sales soon, well, that's, a, that's after Christmas, so maybe not super soon, but it's really good. Next was this Bior Self-Heating One-Minute Mask. Um, I did not like this. I think this came from Walmart. You put it on, like a regular mask. It's like a charcoal -y mask. Yeah, it's natural charcoal. And it starts to warm up, which the sensation is not bad. I didn't like the smell of this product either, and I've noticed Biore, I like the strips, the no strips, but their cleansers tend to over dry me, and my skin is like out of whack for a while. Um, if you're extremely, extremely oily, or and you're having problematic skin, um, this will probably be good for you. I did not particularly like it. The warmth felt weird to the point where I thought that I was having a reaction to it. You only leave it on for about a minute, but it was enough to be alarming, you know? Um, next is this Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer in with Manoe oil. This stuff wasn't bad. Um, it was very hydrating. I don't like having to keep my skin slightly damp to put on a lotion, to be entirely honest with you. I've had products like this before, and it's just... It's, I, I can live without them. I just feel I want to get dry so I'm not freezing. I don't want to be slightly damp. So I like to try to, like... If I'm slightly damp, you know, from after being dried off and just a lightness, that's fine. Um, but these products, they, it's for wet skin. So, like, you come out of the shower, you gently dry yourself off, like a light pat, and then you put this on. It, not my thing. Not my thing. Next is this China Glaze in Turned Up Turquoise. Um, I didn't finish it. It's like a quarter of the way done. It got really badly chunky. I tried fixing it with a little bit of acetone just to try to loosen it up, and it did not do the trick. And I know a lot of people um, will tell you not to do that trick, but it's, it's pretty gross. Um, which is a shame, because I really like the color, even though this was a matte color. China Glaze is not my favorite. I don't buy China Glaze anymore, because I think OPI is definitely a more superior um, nail color. Um, I see some colors once in a while. I know what I'm getting into when I buy them, but, you know, at this point, um, I'm not a China Glaze fan. I'm an OPI girl, if I had to pick between the two. Next is Peeping Santa. This was a bubble bar. That's how old it was. Like, I've had it for that long, unfortunately. This is the little one that looks, it's like a little Santa with, like, two little chocolate eyeballs. He smells like strawberries. He, I absolutely loved. He was super cute, which is why I was hanging on to him for so long. But um, not a disappointment by any means. I really enjoyed him. Next, this is by Punch Studio, made in the U.S. This is a triple milled luxury soap. This was in lavender. This was a gift for my mom. Came with those really pretty, um, overly done boxes, like a music box. You can find them at TJ Maxx a lot. But actually, the soap in those things are really good. They're very moisturizing. The scents are really beautiful. And you feel really clean, which is the important part. Um, some soaps I don't get that with. There's a few lush soaps that I don't feel clean when I use them. I have to use the soap afterwards, which makes no sense. Um, but yeah, this stuff is really good. It's called Punch Studio. They make a ton of different things. You can find them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Um, I really like those. Next is just a um, deodorant. This is Degree Dry Protection and Shower Clean. This is the one I typically go to. Just a nice clean scent. Um, 
I'm thinking about switching to one that's a liquid clear because I'm sick and tired of getting white crap on my clothes and it pisses me off. Next is this Juniper Breeze one from Bath & Body Works. I bought this at the semi-annual sale. Love, love, love this scent. One of my favorites. I wish they would bring it back in the main line in the stores. I know you can get it online, but it's not the same. I would rather buy it in the store. I really need to check out their website because I know they have a Juniper Breeze candle, but it's always sold out every time I go on that website. Every single time. I would love that candle. I actually want to get it for my boss because she loves that scent too. Oh, loves it. Okay. Next is this little lotion. It's called Beekman. This was from um, the hotel when I stayed at the hotel the night before my friend's wedding. So this was this. It was really nice. It was like a bed and breakfast more than a hotel. Definitely more of a bed and breakfast. But it was a really cute place. Very old fashioned -y. I feel like most bed and breakfasts are. I don't typically stay in a bed and breakfast. I normally go to a hotel. But um, they are very quaint and cute. So this is the lotion. It's with goat's milk. And um, it's very refreshing. Made fresh in upstate New York. Oh. Doesn't say where. It just says made fresh in upstate New York, mainly USA. A modern take on traditional life. Not what I picture upstate New York to smell like. Not really. Hmm. Um, next I used up this Milani 3D Glitzy, what's the color? In Vogue. That's actually the name, not, it's not just Vogue, it's called In Vogue. Um, I was putting this on top of my Mickey Minaj from MAC. It's sticky, but it added a really nice shine to it. Um, took me a while to kill this bad boy. I know you can't tell, but I mean, I killed this. I have another one in a different color that I'm going to be killing soon. I'm just not into glosses anymore. I prefer lipsticks because glosses, like, the wind blows slightly and you get a hair across it and then, like, you have, like, a line of gloss going down your face and it just, it angers me. <laughs> I like lipsticks. They normally stay better. Next, I used up a bunch of mini, um, perfumes while I was on vacation. I used up, and I got these from, like, um... The Walmart beauty box, Sephora, Ulta, like they'll send you, like you'll, you'll buy something, you get like a freebie box or you get free samples. So I got some of those. I think these both came from my Walmart beauty box. This is Lady Gaga's Fame. I forgot how much I really liked this scent. Um, it's really nice. Now, I don't know if the fragrance in here was black. I know that when you buy the little bottle of the big stuff. The fragrance itself is actually black and then you spray it on it's supposed to I don't know what happens but it's, it doesn't like leave black on you I don't know because they're black I have a feeling they were clear to be honest with you and I'm gonna try to open it but um it's a really nice fragrance it's very I don't know really how to describe it. it's definitely more of an adult fragrance like this is definitely something I could see wearing on a daily basis it was really nice and I really enjoyed it so this I may purchase again in the future. I did have it at one point, and um, I used it up and never went back to it. Um, but I have to say, it's a really good product. You guys know I love Lady Gaga. Um, if you've been on my channel for any particular period of time, um, I'm obsessed with her. I love her music. Super talented. She does a lot of good for people, and I just, I just love her. Um, next is Pink Friday by Nicki Minaj, somebody else that I'm also very much obsessed with. Um, this scent is not bad. I've had the big version of this. I ended up taking this and putting it into a little squirt one, the one I'm showing you next, because they smelled similar. And trying to mess with one of these bad boys, it's a pain in the neck. I hate it when you just have this little, like, pop-off. It smells like candy. I love it. It actually slightly reminds me of something from my high school years. But I don't know what it is. It smells like a store. I think this is what Shirley Roos used to smell like. Oh. Reminiscing. Um, but yeah, I bought this before. I would totally buy this again. It's a very good fragrance. I like the Nicki Minaj fragrances a lot. And I love the bottles they come in. They're so cute. Next is this Juicy Couture Gold. This was a sample I got from Sephora. I love these little Sephora um, 
squirties. I'm actually going to keep this bad boy and refill it because that's what I did with the Nicki Minaj. When I was done with this, I put Nicki in here because you just pop it right off. It needs to be cleaned, but that's okay. Can I get you open again? It's, it has more of a musk. It's juicy couture, but there's a muskiness to it. It smells really good, though. Um, I'm going to clean this little bad boy out, though, and use this in the future because, although I have so many, I'm going to do it anyway because I have so many fragrances that I can just reload with that. But then again, I get tons of, like, little perfume samples through things. Um, I probably don't need to, but I'm going to. Now this, guys, I'm so excited for this because you've seen this in so many Project Pans. How we have a drum roll, please. Okay, so excited. This was the Viva Glam Nikki lipstick. I finally killed it. Finally, Dad. It is gone. Dead, dead, Dinsky. Took me forever to use this up, I swear. Um... Now I gotta pick another lipstick to kill. Um, I have a ton of lipsticks and I got a lot of them that would be great for fall. I need to pull those bad boys out and just start. Cause what I did, this is the one I sort of used at my desk. So I would use this at work um, throughout the day and have my fun on the weekends with my other colors. But um, this had to go. So this will go with the other. I only have killed one lipstick and one MAC eye gloss, which I'm never going to use another MAC eye gloss again. I hated it. Um, so I got three. I think I need three more to get a free lipstick. So I have a little bit of a task ahead of me. Anyway, so that was everything. Um, really proud of myself. I did really good. I killed a lot of makeup this time around, which is awesome. Because, um, like, I just bought the new um, Jeffree Star... Uh, skin frost and I got a backup of the daddy um, lip color because they re-released it I love that color it's like my favorite and it's the last time they're releasing it um, which is you know sad but there'll be other colors um, so I'm gonna get going guys I've cleared out my little box and till next time right I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I'll see you next time take care bye